Terry, what's the spiritual condition of the people in the British Isles? Well, I think it's no secret, Chuck, that Europe in general and the UK included is in what we call a post-Christian era. I don't think the Christian sensibilities redirect our public policy anymore. I don't think Christian values inform our government too much anymore. We still have good men, good statesmen, good stateswomen, but they're not actually using the Christian gospel and the message of hope in Jesus Christ to inform their day-to-day policymaking. So the church as such sits in the background while the country goes on about its business. I think the churches that I know, the smaller independent churches, tend to feel a little bit defensive. They feel as though they're under a little pressure Mm -hmm. from the government and from society. And I think that's going to happen more and more as secularism increases more and more in Europe. I think that's unavoidable. But one of the things that we can do is to encourage those churches to not lose hope, to keep the faith and to to carry on because they're not alone. There are plenty of Christians in the UK, uh, but they don't necessarily know that just over the hill there's another church just like them. And so they're a little discouraged, a little isolated.